Chris Hudnell for HollywoodRejects.com. I am not a product reviewer, but I like gadgets. And when I buy cool gadgets or gadgets that don't have a lot of reviews, I will post a video because I do videos for other things. All right. So we are reviewing today the Lacey, L-A-I-S-I as spelled on the Amazon page, new multifunctional tactical pen, color, titanium, plate itself, defense gear, window breaker, blah, blah, blah. I'll get to all that stuff. The first point I will make, it says L-A-I-S-I -I on the website for uh, the Amazon website for the product. It comes in a box that says L-A-I-X. So I don't know if there is a English Chinese translation going on. Um, there's also some Chinese print on there as well. Um, also, when you get the pen, it is spelled like on the box. Uh, try to focus, focus. There it is. L-A-I-X. So I don't know what that's about, but just... Know that that's a little different. Okay, so let's crack into this pen. All right, so the first thing, we're going to go through the things I like and the things I don't like. And unfortunately, there are things I don't like about this pen. Well, let's start with the good. It is 3.5 ounces on my scale, and it is a nice weight. It feels solid. It feels like it can do some damage, and it feels like it can take some damage. I like that a lot. It did not come with, at least mine, did not come with instructions. So I had to, luckily I'm not too dumb, and I was able to figure this out. But it was some trial and error because it comes totally disassembled. So let's start at the top. It has a flashlight, and it comes with two full sets of batteries. And as you screw off the flashlight, you have a spring... You have a bulb on the other end. The bulb is recessed, so if you drop your pen, it's not going to shatter that light. It's recessed. The batteries come out of here, and they are these three little like watch size batteries or whatever. Once again, it doesn't tell you no instructions, so you have to guess. I will let you know that the positive... I had to look. The positive goes down into the pen, and the negative is facing upward towards the spring. And you screw those together, and you get light. It's a good bright light, too. So I'm impressed with that. Let's go down the pen. We have a seat belt cutter or a cord cutter. That is interesting because when I first saw it, I thought, I am going to accidentally cut myself. There is a guard extending over the top of it. There is the blade. I thought, man, I'm going to accidentally, because it's an X-Acto blade, super sharp. I'm going to accidentally cut myself. So I basically very lightly tried to get skin into there. I could not. That remains to be seen because I tend to, if I can cut myself, I will find a way to do it. Um, but it seems to be recessed in there to where it doesn't. There is a clip here. That is how it clips to your clothes. Um, I could also see a way where you're putting it into your pocket and you don't catch the clip and you cut your clothes. So I would be aware of that. That we'll, we'll see. Time will tell. Okay, so I have another tactical pen that I wear and use and it has the ink down here and it screws and the ink's down here. This is where the window breaker is and that's a permanent feature. It doesn't change from window breaker to pen so that is where the window breaker is boom you're gonna break push push against the glass it's going to shatter the glass so where's the pen you ask right below the clip you screw it apart unscrew it that is your writing utensil right there so if if you're like me and you sign a have a lot of things signed during the day that's it's gonna be a little more effort you've got to take the pen Separate it in the middle, write your pen, and then screw it back. Whereas my other one, you just two screws right, two screws, it's gone. Um, but I won't hold it against it. I don't think that's going to be a big deal for me. It does show up without the ink in there. So no instructions. Once again, I had to figure it out. It comes with a spring. It comes with a pen. It There's the pen tip right below the clip. You put the ink in there, and then it goes into the middle of the pen. There are threads. You screw it down tight. 
There also is a, um, a seal on here. It looks like it uh, helps keep the water out. And then you screw that together and your pen is in there. Let's go down to the next portion where the top comes off, the glass breaker. This is the problem with the pen. Let's get into it. It's going to cost it two stars. Um, so you get down to this portion. And right now I have the magnesium strike, fire strike. It has threads on it. But you also get a whistle. You get a little exacto blade with plastic threads to screw in there. In fact, I'll do that right now. Let's. So it's plastic. I'm trying to back thread it. And I did notice that this, okay, there we go. It, you want to back thread, otherwise you will strip those plastic threads and it will be gone. It won't be worth anything. So with those plastic threads, you're going to get an emergency cut or you're going to get some cuts. This is not going to be a full-time blade. It is going to, my guess, break eventually because of those, it's metal into plastic threads. You go sideways with it and you're cutting, you're pushing down. I have a feeling those threads aren't going to hold up, but I didn't buy it for that. And if you're going to need it for just one tactical situation or several, ta you know, where you need to use it, it's there. There's the whistle. It actually has threads on it too. You can plug it in there. You can screw in the top. So here's where the problem is. I've taken this thing apart and I've looked at it. Once again, no instructions. So I had to play around with it, looking, looking at all the things and how they fit together to see if there was any um, extra room in there. There is not, it's tightly put together. So you have a regular screwdriver, you have a Phillips screwdriver, you have the blade, you have the fire striker, and you have the whistle. Only one of those things fits in here with the tip put on, which means you have four things that are nowhere on this pen. So do you keep them in your pocket all the time? Do you, you try to jam them in your wallet? Do you have a little baggie that you carry near you? If the idea was to carry the case, that's a bad idea. I'm not going to carry the case around for the one time I need the one thing that I didn't put in the pen. What should have happened and what should happen in the future, I will let you know. So I carry a camera bag out. I go out and take videos. I have an emergency little screwdriver set so that if one of my little gadgets breaks down, I have a, a means of opening it up and trying to fix it out in the field. It has a reservoir. So near the top, it's got multiple items that fit in the reservoir, multiple pieces. And then you can pick the one you want, use several, and then put them all back in the reservoir. And they are with the screwdriver. So I don't have to figure out which one I'm going to need. That's the problem. On this other thing, the tactical pen, there's nowhere to keep that stuff. Major flaw. So they should have somewhere on this pen, whether they shrink the pen or do whatever they do to reproportion it, they need to have a spot for all those pieces to fit in there. If it's going to be a tactical pen and it's for emergencies, you need to have the stuff because you don't know what the emergency is until you have it. All right. I'll stop beating on that point, but it's the main point and it's the main problem with the pen. So I'm going to keep the fire starter here. Magnesium. And it will go like that. And I will keep these other things somewhere else on my person. I Maybe my wallet. All right. So that's the main problem. I read a, view, a, a review. So uh, on January 25th, 2019, the first review showed up. And he gave it one star. He couldn't get the, um, the sparks on the magnesium starter. So... I looked at the pen. I looked at any way using this pen to strike. I could not find any of these pieces, possibly the exacto knife, but it's got to be in the same spot. But with this blade, you could probably hold the plastic in an emergency and strike it. Now, 
For the purpose of this review, I used my pocket knife, my Gerber pocket knife, and I made a video, and I was able to get nice sparks from it. So it works. You just have to have something um, to be able to strike with it. Piece of steel. So, the other problem, it's not a problem. I'm getting ticky-tacky now. It's, it's, it's short. I have another striker that's on a uh, knife sharpener I have that is long. And the only difference, really, it's convenience. This, I can get sparks on, on the first shot. Just spark, 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 flame. On this, I was, I was getting sparks about every second to third strike. So I would strike, and it's just because it's short. But in an emergency situation, you're going to be able to make a flame with this. It is a nice, solid piece of of magnesium and I was able to get sparks like I said every second or third try so if you needed a fire you're gonna be able to make one with this so let the reviewer know on uh, the 25th reviewer it does work you just need to have something to strike with all right so I believe that is the review so the compartment needs to happen um, I paid $19.98 for this when I originally ordered it. There were no reviews, so I figured I was the guinea pig. What kind of sold me on it was the screwdrivers, and the fact that I can't have those with the pen, kind of frustrating. Uh, let me go over that real quick. The screwdrivers. Phillips screwdriver, regular screwdriver. So, you take uh, that piece off the tip, here, and it fits in. It's a hex. And it drops in the slot and there's a magnet. So it holds it in there. You do your screwdriver. If it was a better quality product, I choose my words there, it, it wouldn't have a little wiggle to it. Now, it's a hex. It does not spin. So you are going to get it. It's just stuff like that that drives me crazy. It's It, it wobbles. It should be a nice, tight, clean fit. There should not be any wobble in place so you know you lose a half a star or a quarter star for that but if if what you need to do is have an emergency where you need to unscrew something with a phillips or a flat regular you're going to be able to get it done all right so there's my review hollywoodrejects.com chris hudnell and um hopefully the company you guys can uh, tweak this a little bit and you put a compartment in here you're going to get five stars from me because it's, it feels like quality. There's just nowhere to put that stuff. All right. Thanks for watching. If you have any tips or if you got a set of instructions or you figured something out that I couldn't, let me know and I'll change my review. All right. Thanks for watching.